The severity and symptoms for different forms of muscular dystrophy can vary greatly from mild to deadly, with the most dangerous being the ones that affect the cardiac muscle and the diaphragm. We spoke with Dr. Samuel Rosenfeld at Children's Hospital of Orange County, who gives us more on muscular dystrophy. Muscular dystrophy uh, is a, a group of uh, diseases that uh, cause muscle deterioration. The classic type of muscular dystrophy is Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, and that is an X-linked recessive inheritance, which means only males get this condition, and females are carriers. And usually the diagnosis is at two or three years of age, uh, when children start losing, uh, losing some of their strength and losing skills that they've developed. Uh, so these are children that often look very normal uh, as babies and, and reach normal milestones. They'll be walking at, at a year of age, and then all of a sudden, at between two and three, uh, the children get, get, start getting weaker, uh, and their, their gait, their ambulation changes, uh, and they start falling more, and they uh, are not as efficient in their walking. Uh, and they quickly lose ground uh, uh, compared to their peers. And how is muscular dystrophy diagnosed? The diagnosis uh, is made first with just a blood test looking at a muscle enzyme called CPK. And in the children with Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, uh, the CPK is, is elevated by the thousands. Uh, once that enzyme, uh, elevated enzyme, is found, then usually the next step is to do a muscle biopsy. Uh, and that gives you a definitive diagnosis. What are the different types of muscular dystrophy? The genetic makeup of the muscular dystrophies depends on which protein is missing. So the most commons are these Duchenne's and Becker's muscular dystrophy. There are other proteins that can be missing that have less, um, uh, less involved types of muscular dystrophy. And those are the congenital muscular dystrophies. And then there's a number of different other muscular dystrophies that are inherited uh, each of which are missing different proteins. As these children get older, there's a number of things we do to help them stay walking longer. Uh, and that involves uh, things like physical therapy. Uh, there are some medications that are helpful in preserving the muscle strength. Uh, there are surgical procedures that uh, correct the muscle imbalance that we're seeing. So what we're seeing now is a number of these boys walking until late teenage years and uh, we have a number of uh, patients in our clinic well into their 20s and even early 30s now, uh, 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 which is uh, a, great, a great advance in the last even 10 years. And what about the research being done on muscular dystrophy? The exciting uh, things happening in muscular dystrophy uh, is really all the research being done by the Muscular Dystrophy Association. The biggest uh, part of the research going on is really looking at the, the genetic causes and, and uh, essentially cures of these diseases by altering, altering the missing uh, uh, parts of the gene of the chromosome uh, that are not allowing these proteins to be made. And I think in 10 years from now we will have uh, a, a number of new cures for uh, a lot of these muscle, muscle and nerve problems.